Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use transforms and you know some of the other CSS properties to create an effect like this. So imagine you have like a image gallery or you know it could be a product gallery and you have this sort of layout as your uh, user interface. So you want to basically show the image of your product or or the, or the image of your you know whatever it is and then when you click on it you get this kind of nice transition which opens up and shows a bit of more of the image and also the description maybe a title you know you know some some subtitles about it so you can see how you can use css and javascript to create this kind of effect so the inspiration though is again coming from you know material design on the transforming material you can see this is pretty much the example that you know I am trying to replicate so let's get started uh, I'm not gonna go over everything here I'm just gonna take one of these and then tell you how I created it so as you can see I have a pick container class as my container within that I have a parent and then the actual thing starts from here so a wrapper class within that wrapper class I have a full you know div with the class content within that content I have one IMG div and then one text and within that text obviously I have a line you know could be title and another line which is subtitle right uh, let me switch back to this layout so that we can see both of them at the same time hiding the JavaScript for now and then going on the wrapper so the wrapper or let's start with the parent here so the parent is actually a class which with position relative and width and height of uh, 199 and 109 both on width and height which is pretty much this and then the wrapper class has the same width and height, you know, the cursor pointer, and then the, the important thing is that you have to define overflow hidden, right? Because as you know, within the wrapper, there are like uh, other divs, and well, if you don't hide it, so let's just change this overflow to visible, see what you get. So you get the whole, as you can see, you get the whole you know content within the div so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna change it to hidden again and this is like kind of like left and top and transform translate to make it center in its parent and then I have defined a transition timing function because I'm using transform right uh, so when I when I basically click on the wrapper I want to change the width and height to 330 pixel and 330 pixel. So by default it's 109, 109 and when I click on it it becomes width 330 and height 330, right? So this is the kind of uh, change that I have to have and I want to have. So what I do is that I define a transform function of 0, 4, 0 and this is basically what it is, is actually if you go to the material design and then you go back to uh, the uh, duration and easings, you can see that down here I have used, uh, let me go to it, yes, here we go. So I'm using this CSS transition function, as you can see it's, it's the same thing here, and this is for standard curve, right? So the standard curve, also referred as ease in, ease out, is the most common easing curve. Elements quickly accelerate and slowly decelerate, right? So it accelerates, when I click on it, it accelerates on becoming a little bit bigger and then it decelerates to take this shape, right? All right, so that's pretty much uh, what it is. I mean, the transition itself, you know, it's transform width and height. Uh, and that's about it so I have added a class open on the wrapper so when I click using JavaScript I add the open class 
which then overrides the width and height and it becomes bigger. That's pretty simple, right? And then this, this, the second important part is the content within the wrapper, right? So in order to have this, so basically let, let's just start with this. So here is my content at the end, right? And then let's go back on how to create this. So you can see there is a scale happening, like a transform scale happening. So it's smaller. So let me just change the hidden here again to visible. So this is what I have, right, initially. And then I use overflow hidden with the width and height, which then shows this area that I'm showing you over here, right? That's the default when I use overflow hidden. And then I intentionally change the content to have a scale of 0 0.62. So I scaled it down originally, right? And then on the wrapper open, when I click on it and it adds the class open to the wrapper, I want the content to transform to its original scale, which is a scale of 1 as if there was no scale, right? So as easy as that. So again, originally, the content within the wrapper is of scale 0 0.62. Obviously, the width and height will be exactly the same as the width and height of the content when I click on it, right? And then, as you can see, I have, this is, the, this is another trick left minus 9999 pixel and write minus 9999 pixel this actually centers you know whatever i have within this div right inside its parent container right so if i actually remove this you'll see what happens boom so you see let's just start with this one this is the container but it's not center so in order to center this within my you know wrapper i add these two so yeah and that's that's about it so what happens here is that let me add the overflow hidden here again what happens is that using jquery in javascript i actually when i say wrapper click you know i toggle the class open so on the first click it opens it another one it closes it right so yeah that's pretty much it i i I hope you like this. Uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, ask in the in the comment section. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any feedback on it. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, please like and share. And I actually put the, this link, prototype link, so that you can basically play around with this code. And I hope you have a very good uh, day and night. Goodbye.